Jim Rogers, looks like we are getting closer to a tax deal and a vote. Are you a buyer here, or is this a sell the news event for you? Well, I'm not a buyer here, Danielle. The stocks have been going straight up. Uh, I don't like to buy straight up. I would buy Japan, for instance, and China, both of which are down a lot. And if America is going to continue going up or turn into a bubble, they're going to go up more. And I know, Jim, you always tell me you do not own a crystal ball. But if I asked you next year at this time, uh, where do you see U.S. equity prices? Danielle, you should watch Kitco. They know all these kind of things. I don't. Uh, I would expect that they will go up for a while and then go down by this time next year. If I knew, Jim, I would be a, a much wealthier uh, person. But let's talk uh, the Bitcoin bulls out, out there now. Um, who love to say it's the end of gold and the rise of the cryptocurrencies, that gold is scarce and Bitcoin is fixed, so it's actually better in that sense. How do you see it? Well, first of all, Bitcoin might be fixed, and we're not really sure, but we think it. they say it is. But even if it is, there are going to be lots of other cryptocurrencies. Daniela, there are already over 2,000 cryptocurrencies up from none nine years ago. So there are plenty of cryptocurrencies. So do you think it's a smart move for people to sell their Bitcoin and buy gold here? I'm not. I don't. I've never bought a Bitcoin. So, you know, I wish I had. Everybody wishes they had. Uh, I'm not selling any of my gold. I'm not buying gold. I'm sitting and watching. I'm still waiting for gold to go down so I can buy more. You know, in your career, have you ever seen anything like the Bitcoin fever that we see going on? Well, I've seen fever. There have been plenty of bubbles that I have seen in my life, and I've certainly read about many, many, many more. This one is a little strange because at least when the dot-com bubble was around, those, those were companies that said they had businesses and would have sales, etc. Back in the late 60s when there was this gigantic bubble with computer stocks, the same thing. So I've never seen a bubble... I've read about the, the tulip bubble back, you know, three or four hundred years ago. But even the tulips supposedly had a purpose and a use. I've never seen something quite like this. So, Jim, as we're about to start a, a new year here, how is Jim Rogers, famed investor, uh, preparing himself? I told you, I'm buying shares, still buying shares in Asia. China's down 40 percent from its all time high. Japan's down 50% from its all-time high. The Japanese government is doing unbelievably everything it can to get stocks up. It's not good for Japan what they're doing, but it's good for me. It's good for people like me who own shares. So if you want to... Anyway, I prefer to buy Japan, which is down 50%, to America, which is making all-time highs. Jim Rogers, wishing you happy holidays. Always good chatting with you. Likewise. And Don't sell your gold. <laughs> and thank you for watching. We'll have more for you as part of our Outlook series.